Wolverine vs. American Badger, two of North America's most formidable mustelids. What happens when these two powerful creatures face off? Both the Wolverine and the American Badger are iconic members of the Mustelidae family. Known for their robust builds and nocturnal lifestyles, predominantly inhabiting the chilly, snow-laden terrains of the globe. But in a hypothetical showdown, which of these remarkable animals would come out on top? To predict the victor, we'll examine their traits, habitats, and survival skills, all critical in determining the victor of this formidable duel. The Wolverine stands as the largest terrestrial mustelidae member, characterized by its solitary nature and muscular, carnivorous build. Known for its disproportionate strength and ferocity compared to its size, it's capable of overpowering prey much larger than itself. On the other hand, the American Badger, with its formidable foreclaws and bold demeanor, is a force to reckon with. This small but fierce mammal populates North American grasslands and bears a resemblance to its European counterpart in appearance. Physical Description What do they look like? Resembling a small, stocky bear, the Wolverine measures 65 to 104 centimeters, 26 to 41 inches, in body length not including its 13 to 26 centimeters, 5 to 10 inches, bushy tail, and stands 36 to 45 centimeters, 14 to 18 inches, at the shoulder. Wolverines typically weigh between 8 and 18 kilograms, about 18 to 40 pounds. With males generally heavier than females, and the largest males reaching up to 30 kilograms, 66 pounds. With short, Curved legs, hairy saws, long and sharp semi-retractable claws, short ears, and strong teeth, they are distinct. Their coarse long-haired fur is dark brown with a light brown stripe extending from the neck to the tail's base. And they excrete a strong-smelling fluid from their anal glands. American badgers, known for their low-set, robust bodies and notable foreclaws, up to 5 centimeters long, are characterized by striking facial markings. Their body adaptations, including a conical head, bristled ears, and protective eye membranes, make them adapt at burrowing. Their powerful limbs and large bones support muscle attachment. The American badger's coat, except on its head, is a rough mix of brown, black, and white hair, giving it a speckled brown tan look, ideal for blending into grassy environments. They range from 50 to 81 centimeters, 20 to 32 inches, in length and weigh between 4.5 to 11 kilograms, 10 to 24 pounds. Habitat. Where do they inhabit? Wolverines are native to the Arctic and subarctic areas of the Northern Hemisphere, prevalent in Alaska, Northern Canada, Fenoscandia, Siberia, parts of Russia, Mongolia, and China, and have even ventured as far south as northern United States. These creatures dominate the cold, inhabiting the northern hemisphere's arctic tundras, alpine regions, and boreal forests, often in rugged, mountainous landscapes and are adept climbers. Some have even been seen in more temperate subarctic areas. Conversely, badgers primarily inhabit North America's Great Plains. Their range extends from western Canada through the United States and into Mexico's mountainous regions. Since the early 20th century, they've expanded eastward to Ontario, Canada. Badgers favor open, dry grasslands and can adapt to various terrains from high alpine meadows to coastal areas. Diet What is their diet? Wolverines are omnivorous, feasting on large game like caribou, moose, and mountain goats, as well as smaller animals like ground squirrels, rodents, bird eggs, and berries. They particularly crave meat and will traverse great distances, up to 15 miles 24 kilometers, in a day, to feed, often scavenging on carcasses. Their keen sense of smell enables them to detect prey buried 20 feet under snow, and they'll excavate burrows to hunt hibernating animals. In contrast, badgers primarily consume small burrowing mammals such as ground squirrels, rats, gophers, and mice, using their formidable claws to unearth their prey. They sometimes wait in burrows for their prey to return, and coyotes have been observed catching animals fleeing from a badger's digging. Badgers also eat snakes, birds, and reptiles, and may store excess food for later consumption. Behavior How do they act in the wild? 
Wolverines are typically solitary, only socializing during mating season, and are known to be nocturnal and non-hibernating. Predominantly terrestrial, they are also skilled climbers and swimmers. Wolverines can travel extensive distances across challenging terrains and deep snow covering up to six to nine miles without rest. They are generally quiet, using scent glands to mark territory and are thought to be polygamous. Wolverines demonstrate intelligence, often using human-made paths for easier travel and evading traps set by researchers. American badgers, also solitary, are nocturnal but may be active during the day in secluded areas. As winter approaches, they experience brief periods of torpor but do not truly hibernate. Their prowess in digging is unmatched, with burrows serving as their living quarters. These burrows are extensive, with a large bedroom and sleeping chamber and a total tunnel length of about 10 meters. Badgers defend themselves fiercely, often hissing and snarling when threatened. Now, let's speculate. Who would win in a fight between a wolverine and an American badger? In this hypothetical clash, size, aggression, strength, and defensive and offensive abilities are key factors. Wolverines have a size advantage and are notorious for their ferocity and territorial nature, often confronting larger adversaries. American badgers, though smaller, are equally aggressive, especially when defending their young or territory. Wolverines possess powerful jaws and sharp claws, capable of crushing bones and tearing through tough skin, and thereby can break frozen carcasses. American badgers, with their strong jaws and claws designed for digging, also use these features defensively against predators. Wolverines might have a slight edge in raw physical power. Their offensive arsenal includes razor-sharp claws and agility, making them formidable combatants. The Wolverine's claws are especially effective as offensive tools. In a direct face-off, the Wolverine's larger size, potent weaponry, and regenerative abilities might grant it a substantial edge. However, the American Badger's tenacity and resilience render it a strong contender. Ultimately, the Wolverine might be favored to win this encounter. When imagining a showdown between the Wolverine and the American Badger, it's important to appreciate the unique strengths and survival strategies of both these remarkable creatures. The Wolverine, with its larger size, offensive capabilities, and remarkable resilience, seems to have the upper hand in this hypothetical battle. So with that said, thanks for watching to the end.